Yeah, but officials say Ooh. they think that the apex a is near. Nigga, that's a lot of motherfuckers. That's what this dumbass is. That's a lot of But the outbreak is also spreading pretty quickly in Africa and Central Asia. The EU now pivoting support the government's in Africa, areas, Asia. hoping to avoid a humanitarian disaster there. To support will focus on strengthening preparedness and response capacities of countries with the weakest healthcare system. World leaders are strongly cautioning against any big gatherings for Easter weekend, which is appropriate yeah, yeah, this weekend. Corona, as the workforce continues, to this social shit. distancing has to be maintained, or infection rates could start climbing again. A big show of support for healthcare workers today in Lodi. Parishioners from several churches in that community coming together to participate in what they call the drive-through parade around Lodi Memorial Hospital. They drove around that hospital, happened at 9 o'clock this morning, at the change of shifts for those health healthcare workers. Our parishioners are planning another parade for 9 o'clock tonight when the next change of shift happens. Yeah, this is my shit about that, right? You see how they're doing that, right? That's cute, man. Huh? Yeah. Everybody's smiling, clapping and shit. So what's the difference between these motherfuckers congregating doing all this shit and the people at the churches? That means the world to us and the community has been with the church amazing there's been a lot of items donated there's been a lot of businesses that have brought food to the staff yeah, every day. Right. we just feel very Is they all doing something that's essential? Mm. and she checked two boxes that. heather is a nurse at that hospital that's also participated in today's parade when she was off and because it was organized parade. by local churches a lot of parade. people also tried their prayers parade. for all of those doctors nigga they may drop they ain't not driving through they just want to put it out there well we all know it's not a paradise i had to endure the last year and a half and for some football um, we the league helped keep them hurt. together. This week These it was announced um, yeah. that the Paradise High School coach was named the state's football coach of the year by the California yeah, Coaches that's Association. Plus, Cody Mark has more. Yeah, but one team, one like school, that's how they really one town. Like it's that was the slogan the Paradise High Bobcats took with them during like the 12 and 1 season this have. past fall. No. That season, though, that began yeah, following California's deadliest and, and most sure. destructive Did nobody in the town ever. Have it? They was doing the devastation shit. directly impacting everyone associated with the oh, football program. As we well, all was look like back, we talked about it quite a bit. It gave us something to focus on. What's up? What's up? So we didn't just dwell on how we lost everything. Oh, we are live in the YouTube, to really though, work so, at together. you know, not, not a young fighter, though, we're talking about, we talking about couldn't just be a distraction, though. Smoke. He had to lead by do. example, and, and in your smoke. eyes, smoke. is this the best you know? coaching job you've oh. ever done? Oh, just in case y'all would like to know, for us. well, we smoking on, bam. It got to be able to focus on something else, too. We That's what we got, we smoking on, bam. We focus and enjoy it. Uh, maybe more than any other year, and appreciate it. Uh, and you know, white, when you white, white right bam! And you never know if you're gonna get it back. Oh uh, yeah, man, we still got a few more goodies up in this one. This was Chris with the New Orleans Family Coaches Association Football Coach of the Year honors. I'm right here, baby. I seen, the, I felt the heat just come by my ear. Thank you to a lot of guys that worked hard and the players have worked so hard to get here that it's really a great honor, and I'm and I'm. Appreciate it. And just when Paradise was recovering Please, from the campfire um, devastation, now comes no, the coronavirus uh, pandemic. So we're still reeling no, a little bit from the fire. And so this kid, you know, this, know, this sets like you back you know what I'm saying? Little and little makes little you little. wonder. But on the other hand, we're Thank used to not really knowing what's going to happen tomorrow. And that's kind of the, the question mark with this virus. It's just like one more thing. Here we go, um, and we are we'll be stronger because of it. Um, just got to move forward. And something tells me the town of Paradise will be just fine. In fact, the coach telling me earlier today that as soon as this stay-at-home order is lifted, he and his team will be back on the field getting ready for next season. Reporting from home tonight, uh, this Mark Risky. I don't know why people keep talking about that. On this, the football team I mean, I guess it's good to have high hopes. Coach Sprint only had 22 players left at the start of the year, calm. down from a 56-man That's man why they haven't told the us that it's, it's not going to get lifted. Because they know once they tell us it's not going to get lifted, people's going to be like, well, fuck y'all. They try to keep it. They gonna drag motherfuckers along as long as motherfuckers let them drag them along. It's a narrow line, Dallas, but it's happening.
That's crazy. Yeah, so I guess they is going to meet the military in this motherfucker because they ain't going to have no murder. Ain't nobody going to want to listen to shit. I wouldn't blame them, though. The type of motherfucker that was good my whole life and then all of a sudden I want to go out, I want to go out doing whatever I want to do, be happy. It's my life. I get to choose how I want to die. If I decide to go out and get the coronavirus and die, we don't gotta worry about going out and getting no coronavirus and none of that shit because we got kids here for sure, for sure. So for sure, for sure, we gonna say that shit ain't make you like force it. Like if you around us and you know us and you know where we be at and all the shit. If you don't want it, they already told you to stay home. So fuck what she talking about. You get the corona. That's your own fucking fault. I'm talking about past and beyond the corona when these motherfuckers start purging around this motherfucker. Hey, I'm for one of my Don't don't fuck around up over here. I was trying to prevent the purge from. <laughs> don't come up over here fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we leave we leaving everything on the table, man. All for the kids. So. Just saying. Christina, thank you. Coming up, lawmakers are pushing for a nationwide vote by mail system, but she don't want the corona. <laughs> she ain't shit. Also, in the Republican Health Center, nah. I thank God that all of our family members are blessed right now, man. We all right. Everybody doing healthy and doing okay, man. Where my hobbies at? I hope everybody out there, y'all, still want to go. I want to see the king, Fire LeBron. Search for cartoons. Play the last OG. Search for the street. Play Sesame Street. That's fine. Hey, TNT. See you on board. Cool kids. Talk to you. One of the things you love with the voice command. You ain't noticed how quickly, like, even with the phone deliveries and all that type of shit from the phone companies, everybody that already made power moves. Already the star said shit up some up here just do that shit from home. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna be if it, if this is not a world where motherfuckers is gonna be de- dead like just dying, getting killed, it's gonna be a world where everything is gonna be done from the house. There's gonna be no reason for gas or nothing else no more. Everything is gonna be done from your house. Like live chat with people, it's gonna be a crime to go out your home. Yeah, it's going to be a crime. It's going to be a crime if you watch it home. That's crazy. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, just like Elmo. There are every day you like Elmo watching hands. For 20 seconds. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. Clean and disinfect. What the fuck are you laying over there to the side? I'm practicing something. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. We be in the bed, man. You know, I sleep up here. Uh, she sleep up there. <laughs> no, I don't. He, he's crazy. I sleep right here, nigga. She sleeps up over there. <laughs> Boy, that bong don't look like it's calling the nigga, though. That bong look like it's calling the nigga. Rain, wind, or shine. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, I was just about to kick my mom so from that President uh, Trump won the 2016 election, even though <coughs> most polls showed him behind Hillary Clinton, both Biden and Trump have caused in-person campaigns. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was just going to fucking, uh, I was going to just kick one of my fucking sides off. Some lawmakers want all states to implement a nationwide process moving forward. No one has to come to the table. 
I swear, I was just being kicked by a motherfucking sack off on the motherfucking camera. And get the play on my top. Oh, shit. 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 So the issue remains on the table for now as party leader will work out the next emergency. Niggas will take a picture of that. Green shot. I don't know why for the first same sex couple to marry in San Francisco back in 2000. Governor Gavin Newsom officiated the wedding when he was mayor of San Francisco. The California Supreme Court voided the couple's union and others from that same time. But Lyon and her wife sued for marriage equality, which allowed them to wed again in 2008. A friend the of the couple is... says Lyon died from natural causes. A sailor from the USS mean? Theodore Roosevelt who tested positive for coronavirus uh, was found unresponsive and admitted to an intensive care unit. According to a statement from the Navy earlier today, that sailor was found unconscious on March the 30th. They showed uh, uh, to ICU so this is some, 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 some uh, video of Guam. An That's outbreak on that aircraft uh, carrier has been the center of controversy in for the last shit, week or right. so. Acting yeah. Navy Secretary Thomas Watson right. resigned right. after insulting and dismissed Captain mm. Brett Crozier oh who implored Navy officials to evacuate that ship because of coronavirus in a leaked memo. Dude, so about the tonight at 10.30 as people are losing like, their jobs, they are going to be especially nothing. hard. And that right. is undocumented okay. immigrants. We'll talk about how one local nonprofit is now All this new shit going to be cut out in the middle of the year, too. We are inland, though, and still waiting to hear. Because they ain't going to be knowing that if they're getting too much uh, People are lining up for unemployment benefits across the country. Coming out of the country to try to make good. ends meet while waiting for help from the government. Contact, that's it. Yeah, I, I don't understand how the fuck they still do this shit. I mean, I'm making social distance on it. Yeah. Some of them are working. Um, yeah. uh, Did you put some peroxide uh, some on your fingers? Or some, customers and employees in the Because I actually... You get away from me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired of you. It's <laughs> just so stressful. <laughs> I'm just trying to relax. <laughs> my my blind. You keep like... Doing all this, like it's all good. I'm just trying to keep giving me the side eyes, like you checking me for symptoms and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I think I'm pretty much good. I'm just trying to make it so we just move around, feel a little nice, make sure you know, you move, you know, how you move but, like this, you get a headache and stuff, you get dizzy and stuff. So if I'm not getting dizzy, I'm all right. If I see you hit that weed too hard, you get this, acting like you about to fall, you already sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I got to scoot out a little bit. You gotta scoot over? Oh, yeah, towards you to make sure you don't fall, baby. You feel me? They hit you with a pillow of weed smoke. <laughs> I just said, yeah, yeah. Mm, Enjoy mm, that. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Stop. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, but we free in the smoke, man. And, uh, we gonna keep the smoke free, man. So, all my YouTube niggas, man. Uh, what does it take to be a good boy? Stay corona free, man. Uh, have you been injured in a car accident? We have yeah. some standing by ready to help you. Don't let the motherfuckers come up in your home and take the shit, man. Do whatever the fuck they want to do. Sometimes accidents are treated unfairly. That's why we're here. They're going to try it with all of us. We are bird injury lawyers. Fucked up, man. They trying to have me to sit at home, get healthy, get all chunky, and all the good shit. <laughs> we prepared it, and they prepared us for battle. We're all, we're all fucking crazy, that's crazy. Current the most up-to-date local coronavirus. We're going to stick together, man. The U.S. government says more than 14 million Americans have filed for unemployment benefits just since mid-March. And as employers cut jobs, one group that is hit especially hard, undocumented immigrants. And now there's one local nonprofit that's stepping up to help with that problem. Fox 40's Jessica Mitch explains. 
Josephina relied on her job at Denny's to keep her two children fed and sheltered. But when the coronavirus forced restaurants to switch to takeout only and scale down staffing, mm. she was abruptly let go. We spoke with her through a translator. She's very hungry. She's about to die from the virus. She's going to die from um, depression and desperation because she doesn't know what to do anymore. Mm. Call gang, man. She don't know what to do by myself. For sure, she, like, she's gonna die. That's crazy, man. But we're gonna have to figure out the way to get out of this. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out the way to get out of this.